when you have diabetes, your body doesn't properly use or make enough insulin. This means you need prescription insulin in order to stay healthy. To understand why you need insulin, it helps to know how your body uses glucose, also called blood sugar. When you eat food, it gets broken down into sugar and other nutrients and enters your bloodstream, which signals your pancreas to release insulin. Insulin is a hormone that allows glucose to enter your cells, where it is used to fuel your body. But if you don't have enough insulin or if your body can't use the insulin, glucose can't move into the cells. This deprives your body of the fuel it needs to work well and stay healthy. It also means that your blood sugar gets too high, causing other health problems. If you have type 1 diabetes, you must take prescription insulin. In some cases type 2 diabetes can be controlled with a healthy diet, regular exercise, and certain medicines. But if your type 2 diabetes is more severe or not well controlled, you will likely need prescription insulin as well. About insulin. There are several types of insulin, some act quickly, and others work over a long period of time. The major types of insulin are rapid-acting insulins. This type of insulin begins to work about 15 minutes after you inject it, peaks in about an hour, and continues working for 2 to 4 hours. An inhaled form of this type of insulin is also available. Next, regular or short-acting insulin. This type of insulin usually reaches your bloodstream about 30 minutes after you inject it. It is most effective 2 to 3 hours after you take it, and it lasts for 3 to 6 hours. Next, intermediate acting insulin. This kind of insulin usually reaches your bloodstream 24 hours after you inject it. It peaks 4 to 12 hours later and lasts for 12 to 18 hours. And lastly, long acting insulin. This insulin reaches your bloodstream several hours after you inject it and tends to lower your glucose levels fairly evenly over a 24-hour period. How to use insulin When your body needs to process glucose, you'll have to inject insulin into your body. Insulin commonly comes in a small bottle and is injected with a syringe, but there are other ways to inject it. An insulin injection pen is another way to get insulin. Injection pens use a small cartridge or capsule filled with insulin and disposable needles. There are two types of pens. Disposable pens come with a pre-filled cartridge. When you're done using it, you throw the entire thing away. With reusable pens, you keep the pen and throw away just the cartridge and needle after the injection. Each type of pen has a dial to ensure you get the correct dose of insulin. Another way to get insulin is with an insulin pump. This is a device that sends insulin into your body 24 hours a day, keeping your blood sugar level even. Here, you wear the device and the insulin is delivered by a catheter placed under your skin. When to use insulin. Talk with your healthcare provider about the best time each day to take insulin. Regular insulin, for example, works best if you take it 30 minutes before you eat. This allows the insulin to start working as glucose from your food begins to enter your bloodstream. Insulin enters your bloodstream at different speeds, depending on where you inject it. Insulin shots work best when you inject yourself in your abdomen or belly. The next fastest in order of speed from fast to slow are your upper arms, thighs, and buttocks. Don't inject the insulin in the same exact place in the same area of your body each time. It is critical to move around in each area to avoid hard lumps or fatty deposits. For every mealtime injection, though, you should inject yourself in the same general area. For example, your injection before lunch could be in your abdomen, as could your injection before dinner, insight might be in your thigh. To learn more about how insulin works to control blood sugar level, please watch the next video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support us to learn more, thank you.